Oh, baby, baby, baby. Friday Flashback TLC with Ted and Amy in the morning. More Friday Flashback songs we haven't played in a while. We do them on Fridays, get you in a feel-good mood as we head towards the weekend here. Man, right we're almost done with January, and it is raining Goodbye, today. goodbye, yeah, January. we're seeing a lot of... I don't think we're going to see a lot of snow. We could see some wet snow later on, but we're talking a high about 40, and we're still above freezing. 37 at the airport. It is 39 downtown at 93Q. We do have wet, wet roads and maybe some standing puddles on the highways, too, so slow your speeds down as you're headed in this morning. One uh, road closure, 2nd North Street between Lemoyne Ave... Uh, that stretch in Wolf Street uh, where that house fire is, they've shut down 2nd North Street in that area on the north side. So use caution as you're headed in through that area. All right, we told you that it was going to be time to reveal our eligible bachelor for our annual five dates in five days. Yes. But boy, the buzz started yesterday and it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. So you probably already know that our eligible bachelor for our 2012 five dates in five days is none other than Salina Town Supervisor Mark. Nakota! Mark, how you doing? Uh, well, I'm, I'm doing. Thank, uh, you. Uh, <laughs> Thank you so much for uh, agreeing to be our bachelor. Well, I, I really, I don't know what I've gotten myself into at this point. I Amy, think. Uh, Amy came to me and said, what do you think if I ask Mark Nakota if he wants to be the bachelor? Because we kind of, you know, we did the Salina Parade with you. Sure. And we kind of yeah. have known you throughout the years. And you and my husband know each other quite well. Right. But... Nobody kind of knew what your what your personal life was. You're like a you're like an enigma, mm. <laughs> an enigma wrapped in a riddle. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I mean you you know you work a lot, and I guess we just always thought you were kind of quiet about whether you were dating someone. But at this right. point, you're not dating anybody. Correct. You're free and easy, babe. That's free right. and easy. That's how I like it. I don't oh. know if you want to describe the town supervisor of Salina as free and easy. Well, okay, he's free. How there about you go. that? And we'll be <laughs> we'll be matching him up with five eligible women, all going to one of my favorites, Nestico's restaurant wow. on Route 11 in North Syracuse, leading up to Valentine's Day. So there the week go. before Valentine's. Now, Day. unlike the television show The Bachelor, there's no obligation, ladies. We just it's a fun night out with Mark. Dinner, free dinner, four course meal at Nestico's. Right. And done. You're a winner in itself. But Great it, conversation. You never know; it may lead to bigger things. And what we're going to do is after. <laughs> Afterward, every morning after the date, Mark, we're right. going to join you and, well, probably our female date by phone so you can talk about how the date went. Yeah, yeah. just so we can get Good a or bad, done. babe. I, mean, I know. I'm a little be... uneasy about that. I don't know. <laughs> I never know how that's going to go. I think it'll that's be splendid. What's very, very fun. And after all of the dates are done, we're going to put all of the interviews right up on our website. And yeah. then our listeners can vote for who they think is the most compatible date winning uh Room for four women to Amy's slumber party. Now so here's, that's how it's yeah. gonna work. here's what you do, single ladies or folks. If you know single ladies that you think would be perfect for Mark, we should describe you a little bit. You're 39 years old. You've been the town supervisor in the town of Salina since 2008. Right? Before that, you worked in television You're for many years, journalist. right? Correct. Yes. All right. All right. Okay. That's why he's so media savvy. Why? Uh, why are we still single, Mark? Have we just not found the right woman over the years? I just or? haven't found the right woman. Probably awfully picky. Um, okay. Uh, not awfully, definitely awfully picky. Now, not what do you really. what do you look for? You're into you're into sport. I know you're into watching sports and, and sure. so you're, are you looking for like an outdoor kind of a gal? Yeah, I don't do a lot of outdoors. A little golf, uh, okay. a little hoops, but you know, right. love SU sports. Love to watch SU. Love SU hoops, especially. Right. There you go. Okay. You know, someone that's easy going. And Roll very, with the punches. you got a tight family, so right. you know someone who's very family oriented. Right, yeah. If they don't pass the muster with the family, then uh -oh. we've got a lot of problems. I haven't met your mom, but your dad is a sweetheart, so I can't uh -oh. imagine not getting along. No, you, with your no I can see him smiling at the kitchen uh -oh. table right now. So <laughs> you made his day. There you go. Now, you're a physically fit guy. Yeah, I like to think so. You're a He's snappy a great dresser. dresser. Yeah, wow. snappy dresser. I got my favorite orange tie on. I know, today. you're looking very SU like. I love it. All right, so uh, what do you look for in a woman? Wait, I mean, is it just, you know. Well, I think I... The age range in particular? Uh, you know, I try not to limit it okay. so much, you know. Okay. Um, I think I listed modern traditionalists, but I had a lot of questions about and what is I, modern traditionalists. I was traditionalist. kind of wondering about and, that. And what I think is, you know, that's kind of a stylish, hip woman with old-fashioned values. Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, I don't think it's any more than that. I, I mean, someone who, you know, has her own career and things yeah, like that, but also course. likes to come home and have dinner with you. Right. Right. So, a right. modern traditionalist. Ladies, if that sounds like you, here's what you do. You log on to our website, 93q.com, click on the five dates and five days link, and there's a little form you fill out. You attach a picture to it and uh, email it to us. The hard part is going to be uh, winnowing it down to five finalists. We are only doing the five dates in five days. Right. And so the midnight is, when, uh, the deadline rather, is midnight Wednesday, and right. then we're going to be announcing our five finalists on Friday, next mm -hmm. Friday, because then the dates start. Oh, I'll be busy for like a day. Look, we're looking through all uh, these Look, things. I know. You're, well, I have a feeling we're going to have, we have some 
wonderful listeners. We so really do. They never disappoint us in the five dates in five days. Uh, you do need to be available, obviously, in the window that we're going to do the dates in and to be able to join us the day after your date on the air. Yeah, it can be by phone, though, right. so it's not like you got to get out of work or whatever. But, and you know, we, if you have some single ladies in right. your office, even if you are married, you know, make sure you let them know about it. And we are going to give you Super Bowl Sunday off. I appreciate so that. That would be tough. You can go to your Super Bowl parties or whatever it is you want to do, all right? So all the information, again, online at 93Q.com. We mentioned your family. What does your family think about this? Um, they uh, they are laughing. Yeah. yeah. They're, they're having a good time with it. Yeah. Uh, as well as all, all my friends. Wow. Um, in fact, Nesticos may get a lot of... Um, a lot of new patrons oh, during all of this because of that. Put you in a private room or something that's like that, good. so you'll have some. And you know, in fact, my sister's texting me right now. She was she wasn't a big fan of the Enigma wrapped in a riddle. Oh, of, wow. apparently. So he's not that mysterious, folks. He's not that mysterious. Now, what is this going to do for your political career? Do you think? Oh, you know. I oh, I think it's great. It's right. from the campaign manager. What are you doing? <laughs> Going on day? Yeah, well, Ted, honestly, you know what? Because it took me a day or so because I, I threw it around to some people just to say, you know, if this is okay, sure. does it, you know, put me in a bad light? And, you know, and they said, you know what? It's, it's fun. Just go out. Have fun. That's exactly you know, right. I, I, Don't I, take I, it too seriously. It and, makes and have you fun. human. Exactly people like that. They like to hear about, you know, those those that they just think is a town supervisor, sure. they like to hear the personal Absolutely. stuff. Again, I think it's fun. If, uh, if it's something you're interested in, ladies, I encourage you, spread the word to your single friends, log on and check out the five dates in five days. We also have to mention Mark put together this video, which is linked right up to our you're website. Like, you're like Mr. Social Network. You've got a, you've got <laughs> a Twitter account, of you've course. got a Facebook page now just for this. You've got to embrace the social media. You've got the YouTube video. That's all linked up to uh, the Five Dates and Five Days page as well. And let's uh, remember, if you meet the love of your life, we're going to get the credit for it, right? Well, you know, we'll, let's take it one, one date at a time here. <laughs> there you go. Mark Nicotra, thank you so much for being our bachelor for Five Dates and Five Days. You're going to come back next Friday when we unveil the five finals. Yeah, you then, tell me. All right. All right, we'll be here when Give you need me. Part-time job. There you go. Pretty much. so much. There you go. Good luck. And again, thanks to Nestico's being our host restaurant for our five dates in five days. 745, Ted and Amy with 93Q.